you see the clog is in here of why this thing's not being efficient because in here is where it's able to get rid of all its heat that it removed from the inside of the fridge and to get to that you'd usually take this off the bottom part and remove the entire refrigerator from this but the freon lines are here i don't want to touch any of that stuff so i just want to get the dust out of here so what i'm doing is i'm removing the bottom part just so it drops a couple inches so i can get a vacuum hose in there in an airline but you see underneath here underneath the fridge take a look at all this junk in the air take that's the air exchanger right there so when I get that to drop I should be able to get a whole bunch of this junk out of there so you see what I did here was basically just disconnect this bottom tray where everything is just so I could get it to drop this couple of inches so I want to be able to get a hose in there this is why the machine is not being efficient that is the heat exchanger air can't get through it you see that it is so jam-packed of junk so my plans are I'm gonna vacuum what I can out of there then from the other end I'm gonna use a stick and free the rest of it while it's getting sucked up by the vacuum that is just a mess you can't even see through it that's a major clog <laughs> Okay, just that little bit there, I bet made a giant difference, because now at least you can see through it. I know it's still extremely filthy, but I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to stick some stuff down in there, probably a brush that's really narrow. Actually, you know what will work perfect? I have a bunch of long pipe cleaners. I'm going to get all that stuff out of there. Actually, you know what I'd better do? Before I can get at more of it, I better put another steel block. I'm using these metal blocks because this thing is super heavy and hard to move. Every block I put on there, there it gets easier because it's closer to its tipping point. But again, it's really heavy, so I can put an, I can get away with another one down there. Okay, I got away with a third block. I, I won't be able to get away with a fourth one because it's near its tipping point. But, you see, I was able to expose more of this. It's pretty filthy, right? And now I got some of these nice pipe cleaners. This one, it's a little big, but this one here will be perfect. Okay. There's a good view. I'm going to get back to cleaning this. Vacuum first. in there I can't seem to reach with this thing because it's at a weird angle I gotta set the vacuum up so I can go in from the other side Terrible 
angle. I'm trying to look up in there, but I can't see the top of this, so I gotta use my fingers to feel that. Okay, the bulk is out of there like the bottom. Now I'm gonna use that pipe cleaner, try to get some of this stuff out of there. Because this is a really cramped space when I'm doing this. Oh, well, that's going to make all kinds of dust. See, it's pretty effective. I can get this vacuum out of the way so I can lay down on the floor. Oh, that's awful. I got to. I gotta put on a mask, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I got my mask on now. Let's try this again. Let's see if I can get this better. I'm gonna keep the vacuum running while I'm doing this. To keep the air quality good. And also, I can't see much when I'm doing that. It's getting rid of the visibility. <laughs> Well, the settings in the refrigerator go from letters A through J. Years ago, when it was on C, you would find ice and stuff on your lettuce. That's how cold the refrigerator got. Now the refrigerator's all the way on letter J, and it will not get below 38 degrees. And the thing, it's always around 45 degrees, because every time you open it, this thing struggles to get back down to that temperature. And the thing is always running, because it is so inefficient, because this thing has been clogged up. I didn't even know this had to be done. But at the appliance store, the guy... The salesman was very honest, and the guy said, if you never cleaned this before, that's probably the reason why. Because new refrigerators, like the brand new ones that have touch screens and the water dispensers, those ones have so many electronics that can go wrong and fail. That's why a new refrigerator, its lifespan is only five to eight years on average. These older ones, their lifespan is usually 30 to 50 years. And this thing isn't even 30 yet. That's why I prefer these old ones. There's barely anything on here that is like circuit boards. Really, the most advanced thing this thing has is a 
thermostat. There's no circuit boards in the entire thing, so what exactly could fail other than it needing this or being recharged? And also, I found out something else, because this is a... I'll show the front of it later. It's a French door refrigerator. The color white, which is extremely rare these days. Now it's considered a special order, because nobody wants white on the front of their machine, unless it's the freezer on top of the fridge, the old standard one, you can still find that. But you cannot find French door white anymore, and also these days standard, they all have that ice dispenser and water dispenser on the front. Another thing that can go wrong. This is the older one, it's simple, not much breaks, and I found out you can't really get these anymore. Before I continue with that, I want to show the wiring diagram. This will kind of explain where I'm working. When I'm working there, there's a fan in this here. That's where I'm working, this box. It's where all that dust is all jammed up. Okay, here's another example of that. You see the uh, evaporator there. That, that, uh, that, I don't think there's air going through it. I don't think that can get clogged itself because there's no duct there. But this is where I am, the condenser thing. That is so jammed up. I'm hoping that's what it was. But I'll do an update on this after like 24 hours. Because this thing. Well, let's see. I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> I can't even do it with one vacuum cup. Look at that. Max. It's all the way up there to the top. Look at all that dust that was inside of this thing. When I'm done with this, I'm going to clean out the filter in the vacuum too. That's going to be all jammed. It's so nasty. some on top of this thing. I'm going to get as much of that out as I can. I'm going to be vacuuming as I scrub with the bigger brush. I want to clean this thing out real good. And when I'm done with that, I got to clean underneath the front of the machine where you have that vent because that is also jammed up. With <laughs> Oh, that. 
unplug something. You see that back there? Those two wires sitting there, they unplugged from the terminals in the center of the screen. See, I'm holding it still while I'm rubbing one of the blades. Next one. That's a damp rag just to get the dust off of this. It's unnecessary, but why not? I'm in here. Okay, here's the front. Looking from the front of the refrigerator, there's not much of anything really. A little bit of rust there from things. I'll get that a little bit. I can't get the vacuum to fit in there because of this thing. Not so bad. That's gonna be the best it's gonna get. Because I can't even stick my arm in through this tiny hole. That thing dripping there, that's normal. There's supposed to be a drip pan under here that I have to put back. Can't move the machine because it's up on bricks. It's like secure everything. I just lifted all this back up into place. Now I just have to tighten the bolts. This made quite a mess. Well, the fridge is back. These bolts have rounded edges, so it's really easy for it to slip. Here we go. This is the refrigerator. Like I said earlier, all the new ones have a ice dispenser. And also the new ones, the, the refrigerator and freezer are kind of split evenly. This one, you see the freezer is quite tiny. Magic Chef. And this should start getting pretty cold now since I did those repairs. It's been off for hours, but it didn't really defrost at all since it's been off. Everything in here is a wreck because I had it on its side. You see it's on coldest. If this works out, things should start freezing in the refrigerator and I'll have to turn it down.